Good morning, everybody. It's 645 on a Wednesday morning, and as we look out down 8th Street here, the clock tower in downtown Holland, you can see there are some scattered clouds out there, but today's going to be a pretty good looking day. We'll see a fair amount of sunshine today. It may not start like that for some of us. We have a dense fog advisory out until 9 a.m. for Van Buren, Kalamazoo, uh, Calhoun, Jackson County, southward area. So areas along and south of the I-94 corridor. Look for some reduced visibilities there. Drive slow and stay safe. Uh, we do have other areas of some fog, but they're just not under a dense fog advisory. There's nothing on radar right now. We pull out to a little bit wider perspective. There's a little bit of cloud cover from here and there. There's a weak front that's moving on through the area, creating a little bit of cloud cover, but that's about it. It's still going to be a nice day. We're 55 right now in Kalamazoo, 59 in Battle Creek, much the same in Lawton. Hartford is 50. 51 degrees at 60 in South Haven to the north. Hastings is 51 degrees. Charlotte is 54. Grand Rapids is 54 degrees. We have 55 in Clarksville. West Olive is 52. And our northern counties are in the mid 50s as well, about 53 to 54 degrees out there. So it certainly is comfortable. Here are the visibilities. A 10 mile visibility is a good one. Anything below that is reduced. So we're down to a one mile visibility in Fremont, seven mile visibility in Grand Rapids. And these areas that are, are under the dense fog advisory are where the fog is the thickest there. Half mile visibility in Kalamazoo three tenths of a mile there in Battle Creek, Cold Water and Three Rivers. And if your travel plans are early this morning, take you along I-94 over to Chicago. We've got a 1.7 mile visibility there in Benton Harbor. Our forecast for today, some early morning fog. It'll be dense in some areas. We'll burn that off by 9, 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning. Otherwise, mostly sunny to partly cloudy. 50 uh, or 78, I should say 78 for the high with a north northwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. There's the cold front again, a little bit of lift along that front, kind of a wind shift more than it is for anything else for us. We've got a west uh, northwest wind that will go more northerly as we go through the day today and that'll keep our temperatures into the upper 70s. Uh, not much going on tonight. We've got mostly clear skies, comfortable temperatures. This warm front will lift on through the area tomorrow. That'll move our temperatures into the upper 70s to around the 80 degree mark. And it looks quite an uneventful. You can see all the thickest cloud cover and the shower activity will fire off well to our north and west here over the next couple of days, especially across the UP and then across uh, Wisconsin. We'll tend to thicken the cloud cover up maybe a little bit more on Friday and even more so on Saturday until that frontal system comes through here and gives us increasing shower chances by the time we get into Saturday night and Sunday. 78 degrees today with mostly sunny skies. 79 tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. Uh, partly cloudy to partly sunny on Friday with temperatures around 82 degrees and then as we get into Saturday a little bit more cloud cover but right now Saturday still looks dry with temperatures in the mid 80s. If we look at the forecast model here's what it looks like Saturday at 6 a.m. You can see that warm front is already lifted on through. There's the low that green has not made it in here. That's the rain and as we get into Saturday night and Sunday we could start to see some rain showers in here. Better chances we get into later on Sunday and that may carry on over into Monday as well before high pressure builds back in here. So when our super seven day forecast Forecast. That certainly is reflected here. A chance of a PM shower there on Sunday, maybe a lingering morning shower on Monday with highs in the mid 80s and we're in the mid, perhaps even the upper 80s. Temperatures running a little bit above normal by the time we get into the beginning to middle of next week. So those are some warm temperatures about 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year. 649. That's weather. Let's check traffic. Here's Rob.